today was exhausting. I, I've been like super sleep deprived like all week. I just haven't been sleeping because I'm crazy. You can see like my eyes are like, I look like I'm stoned or sleep deprived. Um, I don't know, I just haven't been sleeping and last night I had class until 10 and then when I got home I was like on this creative binge so I just couldn't stop writing and so I didn't go to sleep until like 3 or 4 and then I had to be at work at 6 so I only got like an hour of sleep and whew, I'm still fucking tired and I took a nap too I'm just exhausted but um we had a really really crazy morning uh around like 6, I started at 6.15, and it was slow, and we're just kind of like, do, 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 and we're like, oh, let's do a coffee tasting, since there's nothing to do right now, ha, 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 I'm totally fucking jinxed it by saying that, oh my god, I normally go like straight to the register when I start and assign, like a, a cash drawer, and today I didn't even make it to the register because like I kept trying to get over there but then there would be a drink to make and I'd just be like oh well, I got it you know it's just one drink whatever and or I was like stocking things so I never made it to the register so I was near the bar area when the insanity hit so I ended up on bar about an hour and like 40 minutes of non-stop line to the door and outside the door. I'm not kidding. Like, it did not stop. There was no end to this madness. I'm making all the drinks. There's only three of us. Um, one of my coworkers is at the register. My supervisor was like dealing with this coffee crisis. Meanwhile, her, like, four-year-old son is there because her babysitter bailed. Who I don't know whose babysitter is, but they're probably a cunt. So who does that? They just didn't show up. They felt so bad. Um, this poor kid was there since, like, four in the morning. But all this is going on. The coffee brewers are, like, exploding. I don't know what the fuck was happening, but they were, like, I don't know how else to say it. They were exploding. Like, the coffee was exploding out the little, like, what do you call that? Like, a, the thing you put the filter in that you pull out, that thing was exploding. The coffee was coming out the sides, like, bubbling over, grounds everywhere. Both sides of the brewers were doing this. So we, like, had no coffee because it all had grounds in it. And then there was some kind of crisis with the iced coffee. Somebody needed, like, a giant thing of iced coffee. And they, like, carried it out to the car. And we didn't have, like, dome lids for big cups. So we couldn't give anyone anything with whipped cream. <laughs> oh, my God. We, we ran out of lemonade. It was all happening at once. It was so nuts. But I'm pretty proud of myself because I, I held it together. I didn't choke anyone. I didn't cry or run away. It was, it was a learning experience. And I was really happy because my supervisor today, normally I would think she would, like, take me off bar when this craziness started and be like, go to the register, you know. But she let me stay on bar and... Yeah, I, I handled it. I was so proud of myself. And she even said something to me. And I was like, oh, I think I earned her approval. I was so excited. It was like the best moment ever. Um, yeah, she was like, you held your own today. And I was like, oh. that like made me feel so happy inside. But the rest of the day, like we were all just a hot damn mess. All of us. Even customers. Everybody was like exhausted and totally out of it today. It was ridiculous. So I finally got out of there, came home and took a nap. 
oh my god. <laughs> and I went to Target before I came home. Target just lately does not want to carry things that I want or need. I was upset. I can't even remember what I was looking for today, but I couldn't find it, whatever it was. I was, like, lost, wandering around the Target, because I couldn't figure out why I was even there. I knew I wanted headphones, so I got those. I don't like them, so I'm going to return them, but I had those in hand, and then I'm just, like, wandering aimlessly, looking down aisles to see if something jogged my memory of what else I needed there. I look... I look like a crazy person, I'm sure. So ridiculous. And then also today was the day of the Pottermore announcement. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty disappointed. I thought it was going to be something super awesome. I mean, it could turn out to be super awesome. But basically what the announcement today was, if you don't know what I'm talking about, J.K. Rowling put up a new website. And it was like a countdown to when it was going to be revealed. And it was revealed today, kind of. But really what was revealed is that nothing's going to be revealed until October. But it's going to be like an interactive reading something or other. I don't understand it. Like, she said something about, like, uh, you, the reader, will get to, like, build something while you're reading the stories online and I don't know what that means I don't know if that it just make it sounds like R.L. Stein to me like choose your own ending so I don't I have no idea what the fuck this thing is going to be but I was a little disappointed I thought it was going to be like a a game or something like a like a World of Warcraft kind of game like I don't know what those are called the super crazy interactive ones like so that I could go to Hogwarts I, that's what I was hoping for, and that would have been super crazy awesome, except then I would never leave my computer, um, yeah, so that was a little disappointing, yesterday, there was a fight in the parking lot <laughs> at work, I was just stopping in to get coffee before I went to school, and then I was talking to my coworker out by my car, and this, like, we hear screaming, and so we're kind of like watching. I'm watching from inside my car, so I couldn't really hear what was going on, but I guess he did. This, oh my god, these people look so trashy. This big trashy lady is like screaming at this guy who looks like a pit bull, and she's with another guy who has this like greasy ass ponytail. All look like trash. They're screaming at each other. Something about an iPhone and she was supposed to borrow it or something, and she took six blocks to get over here, and da 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 I don't know. You know what your company does. It made no sense to me. And then she, like, challenged him to fight her friend. <laughs> so she just, like, put the two of them against each other. And so they started fighting, and... He put his phone down, like, on the car so that they could have a real scrap fight in the parking lot. And she went over and smashed his phone. And so they just kept fighting, like, tackling each other and punching at each other. For a while it was kind of lame because they were, like, punching and just hitting air. But then they started getting some hits in. They, they traveled, like, up along the sidewalk, down the strip, over by my store. I thought they were going to go inside. They almost knocked a garbage can over. <laughs> Out comes one of my, one of my, uh, co-workers. Security! Oh my god, it was so nuts. And the one guy was, like, calling the other guy a trashy-ass Puerto Rican, and I'm like, what are you? Have you, have you looked in the mirror? It was the ponytail, greasy-ass ponytail guy telling the pit bull guy that he was trashy. And we were just like, oh my god, it was ridiculous. And my co-worker was like, I wanted to go over there and be like, excuse me. On behalf of Puerto Ricans everywhere, please stop. It sucks when people <laughs> ruin things for other people, I guess. Like, a small group of people acting like fucking idiots create a stereotype for that whole group. And that sucks. Uh, 
so ridiculous. It was, it was entertaining, but it was ridiculous. So then I went to class, and I had a conference with my teacher. He told me I was observant. I kind of laughed at him. I was like, I am the least observant person in the world. I will ask you where the cups are when they're sitting right in front of me. But I guess, like, I'm a good people watcher. I do like to watch people. They're pretty entertaining. And so I guess that comes through my writing, which is good to hear. And uh, we realized somewhere in the middle of class that Columbia College doesn't have clocks anywhere. Like, there are no clocks. Usually in classrooms, there's a clock up in the front, you know, so that you can count the minutes until you get to escape. No clocks in Columbia. Also, no garbage cans. They're outside in the hallways, but they're not in the classrooms. It's very strange. It's a very strange school, and it's all colorful, lots of bright colors, and weird carpet, and it's just, it's a very, very strange school. It's just bizarre, and everyone there is bizarre. I like it, though, <laughs> because I'm bizarre, so I fit right in, but it was just, it was just funny to realize that none of us had ever noticed that. Because we're like, what time is it? And we're all looking at our phones. And we're like, why aren't there clocks in this room? Why aren't there clocks anywhere in this building on this campus? Funny. Um, yeah, class was good, though. I actually had, like, a creative breakthrough. So I went, like, crazy psycho nuts. And that's why I was up so late last night. Um, this one kid, though, he just drives me nuts the way he talks. It sounds like he swallowed gravel. I don't understand why you talk like that. Because he doesn't talk like that conversationally. Only when he's, like, being super serious and talking about writing. He starts to talk like he's choking on gravel. I, I don't I don't know. <laughs> it just bugs me. Um, I think that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about. I, um... I was pretty proud of myself today, though. I didn't choke anyone. I didn't scream. Not even at this stupid cunt that was rolling her eyes at me. And it was in the middle of the psychoness. If I was a customer, you could tell that we were all frantic and running around like chickens with their heads cut off. The coffee's exploding. You see all of this chaos going on. So, you'd think that you'd be a little more understanding as a customer waiting for your drink if it takes a little longer or whatever. So, I was supposed to make this iced decaf hazelnut latte. And I put the cup under the espresso machine and I accidentally pressed regular. And I didn't notice it until I went to pour the milk that I hadn't put decaf espresso in it so I dumped the cup I threw the cup out and she's like what are you doing you just you just threw my cup do I not get my drink and I was like oh no I started it over because at first I didn't make a decaf and so then I gave it to her and I was like this is decaf you know ice latte whatever blah 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 and she's like it's supposed to be hazelnut and I was like oh no it's not hazelnut I'm sorry and so I took it back and like I go to put hazelnut in it and she's like relax bitch it took me 10 extra seconds to put the hazelnut in it's it's a syrup it's not a sauce it's not like it needed to melt with the espresso i just put it in a cup and then i poured the contents of the other cup into it boom there's your decaf hazelnut latte you stupid fucking cunt get out of my sight Ugh. she was really the only bad one today though everyone else was either nice or just like gone, out of their minds, tired, not with it. I don't know if it's like the stars and the planets doing something to everybody today, but it was good though that everyone was kind of not on their game. Made me feel better. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. So I'll be around. Have a nice day.